Speaking of holiday travel, Alabama A&M's Maroon and White Marching Band is back here at home following a historic trip to the Big Apple. They led the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with a record breaking 28 million people watching live. And tonight we're hearing from students about their once in a lifetime experience. Here is the marching Maroon and White Band at the Dancing Divas. Thanksgiving Day was a special moment for HBCUs as Alabama A&M became the first university to lead the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But the big stage was nothing for the students who were a part of the event. Yeah, business as usual. I'm an ice cold brother, Alpha Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, so I, was, I stayed cool. I was, I was ready to handle business. I know a lot of people in the band, that, that morning we were just like, hey, we'll be happy when we can just have it in the past because we were just like, we knew how much this would have meant to the university. So we were just like, it was a lot riding performance. What was more enthralling for them was everything that came with a trip to New York City. From working with Oscar and Grammy winning musician and composer John Batiste to having dinner on a boat on the Hudson River. It was everything band director Colton Wright could have asked for for his students. And as a matter of fact, if you can check out a Wall Street Journal, one of our sousaphone players um, is featured on there and his eyes are aglow. The smile on his face tells the entire story of what the entire weekend was about. That student was Elijah Lee. He says it was one of the moments that made everything seem real. Getting a picture on a Wall Street Journal, that was that was pretty big. So that was like a full circle moment for me because it wasn't really just like it's bigger than myself. Like put on the sousaphones around the front of the uh, paper, the band is on front of the paper. Like that's what it was really was about. That was WAFF 48's Daquan Lee reporting. And don't worry, Elijah has a copy of the Wall Street Journal heading his way so he can hold on to a piece of history. Alabama A&M, also a big part of history, being the only and the first HBCU to lead the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And it adds to the legacy of a university with more than 130 years of history.